rebel spies. I want to know what happened to the plans they sent you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take it away! That's it, Darth Vader. We don't have time for this. We have a race to run. Right? Let's go. Just time. Hi everybody! Oh my gosh! What race is that? It is Ron Disney Marathon! Oh, sorry. I don't need to do something. Oh, Alright guys, it is less than a week away from the Run Disney Marathon in Orlando. This is my first Disney Marathon, but I believe it'll be my seventh marathon overall. And I am so excited i literally can't wait so i wanted to show you what i'm doing to get ready for the race i want to tell you a little bit about my costume and how i put together my little running sidekick my running buddy my best pal baby yoda say hi baby yoda hi. <laughs> um so obviously my running costume, I decided to be Princess Leia. Uh, why, you might ask? Well, there's a couple of pretty good reasons. Obviously, I love Star Wars. I'm so excited to see the new Star Wars exhibits and the new Star Wars rides at Disney. Um, but like I said, I love Princess Leia. And if I'm going to be any princess, any Disney princess, it would have to be a bad like Leia. So um, I started piecing together a costume and trying to get it ready and um, I'm going to tell you about each part of it and then show you how I made my little baby Yoda. Um, okay so starting from the top um, one other reason I chose Leia is because the hair. I mean, who does not love the buns, right? It's all about the buns. Um, with long hair, I it is really a struggle to keep my hair during long runs from getting tangled and just a mess. So the braided side buns with a lot of bobby pins, hopefully, will keep my hair in place during those 26.2 miles. Um, the visor, I've wore this visor a lot. I love running visors, um, but I kind of added a little bit of bling to it. Um, so I added the Rebel Alliance symbol using the cameo silhouette. Um, so I put the symbol in there and then I put it on iron on vinyl. So I've got that up there. Um, and then the shirt is an, a wicking running tank. It's under armor. Um, I just got it today. It's a little see-through. I don't like that too much about it. Um, you can see my sports bra underneath, um, but it does wick the sweat away. Um, so hopefully uh, the weather turns out nice, not too cold, not too hot, and this tank will work out good. So the running belt is a little bit new. I've never used this one. Um, all my other running belts are black, um, so I tried to find a white belt, and I ordered this one on Amazon. It's actually called a stash band. Um, it has a lot of space, lots of pockets here. You can't really adjust it, so I ordered a small, but it does fit pretty well. Hopefully it doesn't like ride up a lot and get awkward. I haven't actually run with it. I might try that tomorrow. Um, but it's got lots of sp space for everything that I need to carry with me while I'm running. Um, so some of the things that I do carry uh, are gels. Um, this one in particular I really like because you don't have to add water to it. Um, this one is Science and Sport Lemon Lime and it basically is a gel without, you don't have to add anything to it. Um, I'm going to be carrying my phone while I'm running. I will have headphones because I do like to listen to music. And I also have an app called Run Tempo 
that helps me keep my cadence high. Um, so I'll be using that app while I run. And then of course, I've got my handy dandy Garmin Forerunner 235. So I've got that set up with a data screen that tells me my cadence, my heart rate, and my pace. Cause I'm really trying, I don't know if it's gonna be a PR, but I'm really trying to do my best and get under 350 is my goal. Um, now, as far as hydration, I will be carrying this big guy with me. It is kind of a big bottle, um, but I really like it because it's got a locking top and it has the milliliters on the side. And I have a band, um, a handheld band that will basically make it easier to carry. So it's a lot lighter. Um, and I will be using Tailwind during the race. So the night before, I will be mixing up this caffeinated green tea buzz Tailwind. And this one's going to go in the bottle and I'm going to pack an extra one with me just in case. I shouldn't need it, but just in case I'm going to have that with me. Um, so, I also like in my band, I like to carry and to pack Advil with me. Um, I plan on taking an Advil in the morning and then about mile 13, depending on how I'm feeling. I also pack M&Ms and then of course, for the bathroom, Imodium AD. You don't want to have a disaster on the road while you're running, especially through Disney. What a nightmare. Um, okay, so that's my hydration. This uh, spiffy cool skirt is I ordered from Amazon. It's only $14.99 and it's made by Gone for a Run. So I've never run in it. Um, I'm hoping it's not too cumbersome or bothersome. And then I never run a marathon without compression. So I have these Run Forever compression socks in white. They really help with the recovery and circulation of the calf muscles. And then these babies, the, these babies are a miracle. I will be wearing my Hoka Carbon X. And the last marathon that I ran in December, I wore these babies straight out of the box and they were fast, light, they got me through the race, made me feel like a machine. So I'm going to be wearing these on Sunday and between this and the force, I know I'm going to do my best. Um, so yeah, the Hoka Carbon X, these babies are the best. Now that brings us to my little running buddy, Baby Yoda. I had a blast making this little guy. Oh, got to be careful, he's a baby. Um, I really would love to bring him with me, but he is very, very top heavy and he could end up being very cumbersome. So if my bit is here, um, I don't know where this guy is going to go. I mean, if his head's going to be jingling around everywhere, um, he just might have to wait for me at the finish line. <laughs> so as you can see, he's like flopping around everywhere. He's just not wanting to really stay put. Um, so he might not make it, unfortunately. But um, like I said, he is an adorable accessory. And I will show you basically a quick tutorial of how I put him together and made my little adorable buddy. So, like I said, I'm so excited about the race. I cannot wait. Um, and of course, I will post an update maybe before or definitely after the race. So, may the force be with you. I gotta get this guy to sleep.